So we have some breaking news. So the New York Jets have fired defensive coordinator Greg Williams after what happened in the New York Jets 31-28 loss to the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, for those of you guys who did not watch the game, the New York Jets had the lead late in the game, and they allowed the Las Vegas Raiders to score the game-winning touchdown to Henry Ruggs because Greg Williams called a zero blitz which left his cornerbacks on the island, and it led to Henry Ruggs burning one of the New York Jets cornerbacks, which happened to be Lamar Jackson, and Henry Ruggs caught the game with a touchdown, giving the Las Vegas Raiders the win over the New York Jets. So, here's the only thing that I don't understand about this. The New York Jets fired deeps according to Greg Williams before they fired head coach Adam Gates. So, my question is, what does Adam Gase have to do that is so outlandish that the New York Jets have no choice but to fire him? Because if you ask me, Adam Gase should have got fired before Greg Williams. Or this should have been a package deal. Greg Williams should have got fired, and then Adam Gase should have got fired. So this is really embarrassing on the behalf of Greg Williams. Not just, you know, calling a zero blitz and allowing the Las Vegas Raiders to win the game. But the fact that you got fired before Adam Gase, it reminds you that a lot of people felt like if Adam Gase was to get fired, that Greg Williams would take over as the interim head coach. So Greg Williams calling a zero blitz was so outlandish that the New York Jets decided to fire him before Adam Gase. Now, Greg Williams this season, as defensive coordinator for the New York Jets, the Jets have not really been great defensively. They are 30th in the NFL currently right now, and points per game allowing 29.4 points per game. They're allowing 398.8 yards per game, which is 29th in the NFL in yards per game allowed. They're allowing through 291 pass yards per game, which is 31st in the NFL in pass yards per game allowed. And they're 9th in the NFL in rush yards per game allowed, only allowing 107.8 Rushing yards per game, and they were 26 in the NFL on third down defense, allowing opposing offenses to convert 45.75% of the time. So, Adam Gase is still the head coach of the New York Jets, but the New York Jets fired defensive coordinator Greg Williams before they fired Adam Gase. So, my thing is still, what does Adam Gase has to do, or what does he have to do, that is so outlandishly bad that the New York Jets have no choice but to fire him? Because it seems like to me that the New York Jets are going to hang on to Adam Gase because they feel like keeping Adam Gase as their head coach is going to help improve their chances of going 0-16 so they can draft Trevor Lawrence in the 2021 NFL Draft. So the New York Jets fire defensive coordinator Greg Williams. Greg Williams, somewhat is highly respected amongst the NFL ranks in terms of defensive coordinators. Surprisingly, a lot of people were really surprised that Greg Williams made the decision that he made to be that aggressive and call for pretty much an all-out blitz, left his cornerbacks out to dry. And listen, I can understand if you make that call, if you actually have a great secondary or a good defensive line, but the New York Jets don't. They actually have one of the worst secondaries in the NFL. And aside from Quentin Williams, they don't really have anybody good on the defensive line. And their best player in the back end of the secondary is Marcus May. So for Greg Williams to make that decision, listen, I understand that Greg Williams is a super aggressive defensive coordinator. He blitzes more time on um, more times on third down than any other defensive coordinator in the NFL, according to reports. But still, in that situation, all you really have to do is play cover four or prevent defense, make sure that you're able to keep everything in front of you, and you win the game. So I don't really understand why Greg Williams would try to be that aggressive. Like, I understand you wanting to be aggressive, but even then, if you get a sack on Derek Carr, they're going to go for it on fourth down anyway. So I don't really understand the decision for Greg Williams to have that kind of of aggressive mindset i don't know if his ego got the best of him in that situation i don't know if he wanted to be the savior of the game or something like that or maybe he wanted to put the las vegas raiders in an even more worse situation on fourth down because if the blitz hits home and the jets end up getting a sack on Derek carr they would probably be in like a fourth and long situation but either then that still doesn't really make a lot of sense in that situation. In my opinion, I would play things safe. I would probably play a cover four defense, allow the Las Vegas Raiders to get a short completion for like three, four yards out of bounds, and then try to see what I can cook up on fourth down to try to win the game. So the fact that Greg Williams 
did this and costed the New York Jets their first win of the season. I mean, I understand why they choose to fire him, but my thing is, why would you fire him before you fire Adam Gase? Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So you guys let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section down below. Make sure that you like the video for more NFL content.